Hey guys, my name is Naika, but y'all knew that already. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Scalp Hunty. If you would like to know how I achieve this look, keep on watching. Today, I have my lovely friend in my salon chair. She says hello, say hi back. I already went ahead and braided her hair and added the stocking cap. Now I'm using makeup in a tone closest to her skin complexion so that the stocking cap and her skin complexion can match. If you've never watched any of my previous videos, I recommend you go watch that like right now, like after you finish watching this. But if you watch them, you would know that um, I use either bold holds or ghost bond to secure the stocking cap. Now that I cut off the excess cap, it's time to get some lace tint going on. So right now I'm just looking at my lace tints and matching it to her skin complexion. Lace tint is really self-explanatory. It's um, something that you use to tint your lace. So being that my client is dark skin, I prefer to use lace tint because with makeup, after a couple days, it tends to leave like a little ashy residue. But with lace tint, I'm actually changing the color of the lace to a darker complexion and that tends to last longer. So this is how the lace looked before and this is how it looks after with lace tint. Now that the lace matches my client's skin complexion, I can apply on her head. As you can see, the lace is already cut, so this is a reinstall. So I had previously installed this on my client a couple weeks ago, and now she's coming back to have it reinstalled. So this will be pretty quick and easier, being that it's already cut and fitted to her head. It will be simple. Now I will be applying the adhesive, but you already know the drill. Before you apply adhesive, make sure to wipe off your or your client's forehead with 99.9% .9 alcohol just to remove any excess makeup, oil, or residue. It's always good to clean off the surface because majority of the time, the glue would not stick if the surface is not clean. Heaven's gates have opened. Erica J definitely did her thing with that glue. Like that is literally the only glue I use like her Black Friday sale I went dumb I went crazy my Christmas list I told all my hair friends just get me some Erica J glue because her glue is so bomb when applying adhesive I always do the same thing whether on myself or my client if I do something different it would most likely be on myself but anyway when applying adhesive three layers of glue before applying your next layer of glue, make sure that the layer prior to that is dry. How do you know that it's dry? It is clear, not white, but clear. Always follow these steps when applying your adhesive. And of course, if you're using Erica J's adhesive, your wig is not going anywhere. Like it can literally last you a month. Maybe a little touch up here and there if you don't know how to do hair, but if you know how to do hair, like your wig is lasting you a month. For this particular install, being that it's a reinstall and the lace is already cut, 
um, I will be applying the lace into the glue and after that I will be blow drying it on warm with my blow dryer so that I can start off doing the edges. You do not want to do your edges when the late when the glue is still wet and like the hair is still sticky if that makes sense your lace will always lift and it would never lay today's style is a side part soup so i'm gonna start by styling the hair before doing that, I'm gonna form my part so that the hair can lay in the direction that I want it to lay. For this specific style, I don't like to use got to be spray or any kind of gel because you don't want the swoop to be hard. So I'll just be using my Care Care wax stick so that the hair can stay flat and be molded. And then when it comes time for me to actually mold the bang, well, keep on watching, you'll see, but I do not use any kind of gel or Anything that, that will make the hair hard because you do not want your soup to be hard. First of all, can we talk about how the Care Care wax stick really made my client's hair super flat? Like, if you do not have a wax stick, I need you to invest in one. Like, you need a wax stick. Before Care Care, like, I was using Got To Be Spray. Yeah, it worked, but it always left, like, oh, uh, flakes, white flakes. But with a wax stick, it's already waxed. So when you go over it with heat, like, it just melts into, oh my God, like, Get, just get y'all a wax stick, please. To so form these baby hairs, I'll be using Nairobi Styling Foam. That is literally the only foam that I use for a baby hair. It's like, that foam is the bomb. I have to get into Erica J's foam. I haven't tried it yet. Heard some good stuff about it, but I just never tried it. Hopefully one of my lovely friends or my parents actually look at my Christmas list and get me my camera. But this was like the best angle I could get of the baby hairs with my phone. I'm so sorry. Hopefully I get this camera for Christmas. Because if I do, bro, I'm giving. Like, it's going to be giving with the angles. I need to get real up close and personal with the baby hairs. I always get compliments on how I do my baby hairs. But I could just never get some good footage of it. So, yes, at friends, at parents, at whoever got my Christmas list, I hope I get my camera. But until then, this is just gonna have to do. Also, when doing baby hairs, don't expect to get it right on the first try. Like, as you can see, like I keep going over and over and over and over. Like, keep doing it until it's formed the way you want it to be formed. So if you see that you keep going over it, that doesn't mean that you're doing it wrong. It's just, you know, you like it a certain way. Don't be scared. You control the foam, the foam does not control you. Once the baby hairs are formed the way you want it to be, make sure you tie it up with a paper wrap. Normally, I would put the client under the dryer, but because I have to flat iron her hair, I would just start doing that, and by the time I'm done, her edges would be already dried.
Hair details will be in the description box down below, but this is a 30 inch 13 by 6 frontal wig from Tillis Tailored Hair. That is my hair company. Yes, I do sell hair to the public. I do ship um, internationally. Can we just like, ugh, ugh, the, I can't even speak. My hair is just so bomb. Just to remind you guys, no makeup was used on the lace. I simply just used the lace tint and you can see that it is giving scalp, okay? Everything is laid, everything is intact, everything looks nice, nothing looks sketchy, just lace tint. I am satisfied with the placement of my baby hair. So being that this is 1B hair, I'm going to go over the baby hairs with Gorilla Snot, the red bottle. This is like a gel, so when I go over the edges with this, it's just to harden the baby hairs because a lot of clients, they don't know how to form their own baby hairs. So I would go over with the Gorilla Snot so that the baby hairs will stay intact a bit longer because when it comes to mousse, it's very light and it's easy to mess up. So if my clients know how to form their own baby hairs, then I would just leave the mousse. But if the client doesn't really know how to, I would just go over it with the Gorilla Snot, the red bottle, so that the baby hairs are a bit hard and will stay intact. I only do this on 1B hair. If the hair is 613, I do not use Gorilla Snot, only mousse. So now you guys can see why it is so crucial to use the wax stick. Being that the hair is already flat, I don't really need to do much. The hair is already flat, so I'm just, you know, forming the bang, putting it behind her ear. So that now when it comes down for me to mold it, it's not that much of a hassle. It's harder to form the bang if the hair is not flat. Now that means you have to go in with more product and more mousse and more thing. Like the less product, the better. Although her part is pretty much defined, I like to make it just a little bit more defined and sharp by using makeup in an angle brush. So you would use a shade lighter than your client's skin complexion to define the part only because our scalp is lighter than our actual skin complexion. And as we can see, my client is loving her hair and I'm loving it too. Like it's giving real natural, real flat, real, you can't step next to me because if my hair hits you, you 30 inches too close. And voila, the finished product. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was very informational. I hope you guys can use the tips that I've used on either yourself or on your clients at home. And see you guys in my next video. Later.